Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In New Reincarnation, both JP and Global, they have the final pulls for the 280 free pulls. And this will be with all of the banners combined together. Uh, previously, I called the Abyssal banners the most important for my accounts uh, because there was some stuff that I wanted from there. Uh, so therefore, this banner is going to be the second most important because it also has Abyssal. <laughs> uh, but let's pull in JP first. I'm just trying to get uh, people that are new to my account at this point. So like that Noel, for example, would be nice. All right, let's go and pull. And then this will give me a chance to talk about uh, a couple of kind of recent events. Uh, one of which was the fourth month in a row of worst sales ever in the history of the game Purple. Good. Um, so yeah. Oh, we got the purple here first. Let's see what we got. Stop. Oh, come on. All right. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, as I've said in other videos, um, Final Fantasy collaboration didn't get him out of the slump. Uh, summer swimsuits didn't get him out of the slump. And then now, the anniversary did not really move the needle. Uh, but I think there is a silver lining to this month especially, not having the good sales. Because they did a very uh, exploitative... Ooh, another purple. Uh, kind of a banner setup, which is kind of designed to get people to pull more with lower rates and spend more and all that, but it didn't work, so perhaps the developers will never try it again because <laughs> it just uh, kind of breeds contempt among users. All right, stop! Ah. Uh, but yeah, it... Uh I don't know, this is supposed to be a kind of a, a high earning time for uh, mobile games. So if I were like the, uh, the publishers or the developers, I would be thinking, well, there's kind of nothing that the game can do at this point to generate sales. So we'll see how that influences the uh, future course of the game. All right, and then the second thing I can talk about, let's save that actually for the uh, global polls. We're almost done here. If we get one new costume, that would be amazing. Okay, okay. Got some purples here. Let's get some stoppage. Okay, stop. Good. Oh, we've got a change there. Launch fist. Okay, stop. Rats. Okay, this is a good Akeha. Yeah. Can't really count on getting the Abyssal characters. <laughs> okay, let's change over to my global account. Okay, here we are in the global account. Uh, here I kind of want more specific stuff, because this is the account that I actually play. Uh, new weapons would be amazing. Among Abyssal, I would like... Um, I got Lars, so I want Lavania or Griff. No. Okay, let's pull. And if I get anything else nice, you know, along the way, I'll uh, react to it then. Uh, but the other thing I can talk about is the collaboration with the uh, stage play. It's kind of a surprise, but it also kind of feels like, you know, why haven't they done it up to now? <laughs> but yeah, I would call this like a soft collaboration or like a weak collaboration. It's not going to like a different company, like with a Persona or something. And then uh, working out the contracts there. Um, I'm assuming that the uh, the characters, Griff, and then and Gale, and uh, Noel, they'll be the mechanical versions. And yeah, since uh, Fio and Leon are in the standard pool, that's also kind of why I feel like mechanical characters are not really collaboration characters. What do we got? Ah, Machine Axe. Very important to have this, but mine's already maxed. Maybe I can start working on a second one. All right, nothing there. Uh, but yeah, I did say this in a uh, community post, uh, but hardcore Nier fans in Japan, 
are very excited about the um, the collaboration, including like some actors, you know, from the actual stage play. <laughs> I saw them on Twitter. But I wonder outside of Japan, like how much people know, like what it is. And then, as of now, uh, kind of the only way to see it here in Japan, besides in person, is on the uh, Blu-ray. And I'm not going to buy a Blu-ray just so I can watch that thing. <laughs> um, apparently, the, uh, the first one kind of details what was sort of played out in the uh, Automata anime, anyway. It's when uh, A2, when she's like brand new goes down and meets members of the resistance and they run into the virus. That story there. Nope, oh, purple, good. And then there's another story uh, that is more uh, male-centric. And I don't know what the story is there at all. Alright, purple, what do we got? Okay. I kind of wanted this, actually. I think he's uh, very strong. I think he's got a bold vigor as well. He might be usable in Arena. I remember when um, Awakenings were brand new. Saw quite a few people using him in Arena. Alrighty. Oh, that's it. Uh, let's claim that, actually. We'll give myself a little bit more time to talk. <laughs> But yes, there is uh, going to be one more collaboration, according to uh, producer Saito, coming soonish after this. Now oh, he's only going to be awakening one now. Yeah, <laughs> I think I have to get to three to make him more damaging. Yeah, that's a pretty low attack value. Uh, what is this? Attack up fifteen percent. Yeah, that would help. Oh, he's only twice awakened. Okay, yeah, but we do see the bold vigor there and the uh, ambush, so eh, maybe he's got some offensive possibilities. So yeah, we have the uh, the first of possibly two collaborations. Uh, first being for the uh, the stage play. The second, you know, I know people are hoping or expecting, you know, Final Fantasy VII, either a remake or Ever Crisis or uh, DoD uh, 1 with the anniversary, or Nikkei because it's popular, or Final Fantasy 16 or something. But yeah, as always, you know, can't really count on anniversaries or releases of other games to really signal a coming collaboration. There are many, many more factors that go into it, which usually have more uh, precedence over just, you know, release or anniversary timing. And also, New Reincarnation, you know, it's just not earning to really maybe afford a really big title collaboration. Because they do take a lot of extra work and then money to uh, get going. But, on the other hand, they are also a great way to get in new players, uh, which is kind of what New Reincarnation needs more than anything else right now. Okay, that's it for the free pulls. Kind of sad about that. I think overall I'm pretty happy with what I got. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.